In this example, we're being asked to approximate the y value for the solution of this differential equation uh, when x is 0 0.4 using Euler's method to do that. Uh, so you'll notice here what we have is a first order differential equation, which is what we need to do Euler's method. Um, the dy dx is solved for, which it needs to be in order to do Euler's method. Um, we have to be given an initial condition, and we are, y of 0 equals 0. And we also have to be told a step size, which will be important once we begin as well. In this case, uh, h, is our step size is 0 0.1. So I'm going to assume we already know how to do Euler's method, or at least the, the theory behind it. Uh, in this video, we're basically just going to work through an example, but, but I'm going to assume we already know uh, the basic idea behind Euler's method. So um, here we go. I wrote just the pertinent information down just so we have space to work. Uh, we have our differential equation. We have our step size. And so let's, let's go ahead and get started. In green here, sh uh, this should look familiar. This is Euler's method. To get to the uh, next x value, you take your previous x value and add the step size. That's why it's called the step size, is you're stepping to the right by 0.1 units, at least in this example, every time. And so that'll help us uh, generate the list of x coordinates. And then uh, this formula here will generate the next y value based off of the previous y values. All right, so um, when we do Euler's method, it's, it's very computational. We'll have a start to our program, and then we're going to run Euler's method and generate the rest of these points coming up here. So our initial condition is where we start. It was 0 for x and 0 for y. You remember that on the, uh, on the previous page here, y of 0 equals 0. So, um, so here we go. We have um, our start here. And uh, based off of the step size of 0.1, we know that our next x value will be 0.1, because that's 0 plus the step size. And then just because it's easy, I'm just going to go ahead and find the other x's. The next x value is 0 0.2. The next coordinate is 0 0.3. And the last one is 0 0.4. And we're really looking for who's his y value, right? Because that's what the initial problem was, was asking what's y when the x is 0 0.4. So that's that's what we're after here. Okay, so 0 0.1, 2, 3, and 4, all right? So uh, let, let me erase this here, and we'll, we'll go and begin. We've got a lot of algebra to do. All right, so let's, um, let's start by finding uh, y sub 1. So this is the y coordinate that matches the x sub 1. So I'm going to use my formula here. This says for y sub 1, we'll take the previous y value, that's y sub n minus 1, that's the previous guy, which in this case is 0, and we'll add the, uh, the step size. Now for the, all of these, the step size is always going to be 0.1. So we'll have 0 0.1 uh, times, and this is the trickiest part, but hopefully we shouldn't have any trouble with this. But um, if this next part is confusing, rewind the video and watch this part a couple of times. But we need to evaluate the differential equation, that's a little f, at the previous xy coordinate. <coughs> now, who is little f? I don't, I don't see any little f's anywhere here. Well, it's actually this guy because the, the generic model is dy dx equals a function of x and y. That for this problem is x plus 2y. If it was a different differential equation, um, you would have something else, you know, to, to plug your previous x, y coordinates into. So anyways, we're going to take our previous x, y coordinates, in this case 0, 0. We're going to plug them in this guy. This is, this is a little left right here. So 0 plus 2 times 0, that would give us um, 0 plus 0. Do all that math, 0 plus 0.1 times 0 is... 0. All right. So I've got a new x, y coordinate value. All right. When x is 0 0.2, let's figure out what y sub 2 is. y sub 2, you'll take the previous y value, in this case 0, plus we'll have the step size of 0 0.1, and then we'll take the previous x, y coordinate, 0 0.1 comma 0, and plug it in the differential equation. So we'd have uh, we'd have 0 0.1 plus 
2 times 0, 2 times the last y coordinate, which would be 0. All right, do that math. 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.01, right? 0 0.01. All right, and so we've got our updated y coordinate, y sub 2. All right, almost done. A few more. y sub 3. We'll take our previous y value, which is 0 0.01, this guy here. Uh, plus, and we'll have this step size, 0 0.1. All right, and then, all right, so starting to get a little, little tricky here, so just make sure you're hanging with me. We're still going to evaluate little f at the previous x, y value. Now, who's the previous x, y value? Well, same as before, you look at the line above. Here's your previous x, y value. So we'll plug that in the differential equation. We'll have x plus 2y, so that would be, 0 0.2 plus 2y. 2 times 0 0.01, that's 0 0.02. 2, 2, uh, 0.02. All right, let's do some of this math. And as it starts to get hairier, uh, there's nothing wrong with going to your calculator. I think I can still do this by hand. Uh, let, let, me, let me try it. Um, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.02 is 0 0.22. You can do that on your calculator if you need to. Uh, times 0 0.1 would be uh, 0 0.022, 0 0.022, plus 0 0.01 would be 0 0.032. You can check my algebra on that, but I'm fairly certain that that's, um, that that's accurate. All right, and then last one, last one. Here we go, y sub 4. This is the guy we're looking for. This is the y coordinate when x is 0.4. So we'll take our previous y value of 0 0.032, and then we'll add the step size, 0 0.1, and then we'll evaluate the uh, differential equation at the previous x, y coordinate. So we would have um, x plus 2y, so 0 0.3 plus, uh, what's 2y? 2y is 0 0.064. 0 0.064. Okay, um, I might could do this in my head, but just to make sure we don't make any mistakes, let's just go to our calculator real quick, compute this real quick. Um, I can at least do some of it in my head. 0 0.3 plus 0 0.064 would be 0.364 times 0 0.1 would be 0 0.0364. So we'd have, let's see here, um, 0 0.0364. 0364 uh, plus what? Plus 0 0.032. 0 0.032. Okay, add those. 0 0, uh, 0 0.0684. 0.0684. And that would be our answer. This is the y coordinate. This is the y coordinate that goes with this particular x value. These are all x, y points. And so you could actually plot these in a row. This is an x, y coordinate. This is an x, y coordinate. And so is this, and so is this, and so is this. So if you're looking for a, uh, a graphical interpretation for this, um, th this isn't a, a perfect uh, example. This is just meant to be an illustration is all. But, um, but th this should suffice to help you kind of congeal this in your mind and help it, help it make sense a little bit better. Um, what we had was an initial condition at 0, 0. And then we, we basically just found 1, 2, 3, 4 extra points. Now, I know these aren't perfect. I'm not saying that they're perfect. This is, again, just meant to be an illustration only. But basically, as we found the y coordinates for 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, that sort of thing, what Euler's method does is it approximates what the y value would actually be on the solution curve. So this guy right here, the white line, is representing the, sol the actual solution to the differential equation, but we're going to pretend that this is hidden. We don't actually know what the solution curve is. So imagine this white line is not there. Do you see how close the green points get to the white line? 
And that, that's the idea behind Euler's method is these points that are generated here, these X, Y points, they follow the solution curve. And so uh, we would say that, let me go back to the original question. We would say that the last Y coordinate we found approximated the exact Y value at point four, uh, granted, even though ours was only uh, an approximation.